All right, everybody. Well, uh, my time has come. I I've said that already today. You're going to see me in like a few minutes. Um, but uh, I'm also going to be back later for Resident Evil block, which I don't know why I do that to myself. But until the, uh, until my run in a few minutes, I'm going to leave you in the very capable hands of Dayman. Take it away, pal. Hey, how's it going? We've got a good run coming up for you. I hope you like golf. I like golf. And Mario Golf is probably the best version of golf. We've got Mario Golf Super Rush by CJ. It's all good. All courses, but no DLC. Turns out there's a lot of DLC, but we will not be playing the DLC, just the base game courses. So working our way through that, it's going to be a good time. After that, CJ is going to be sticking around for his prize corner. We've got some raffling to do. Got it's Beav with Mario 64, 120 star. Ryan Ford with DKC2. Beat Mario, which is the all DK coins category. It's one that you usually don't see very often. Kind of like um, a little bit more than any percent, but not quite 100%. Should be a good time. And then after that, we've got um, some Resident Evil, and it's it's going to be a great time. Anyway, but I'm only going to be on for this one little run right here. But after that, we'll be handing it off elsewhere. In the meantime, stick around. We'll send you to an ad pretty soon, and then we'll get that next run started. Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you've been enjoying the marathon. SDAT is being run by some really cool people for an awesome cause. So you all being here makes you really cool as well. But you know what else is really cool? Speedrunning's incredible history. My name is Dr. Swellman, and I cover various events that have occurred throughout RPG speedrunning over the years. From Final Fantasy X's community cracking the code of RNG manipulation, to Legend of Dragoon speedrunners using save corruption to skip over three fourths of the game, I absolutely love sharing the accomplishments in what are considered to be lesser known communities. If you enjoy speed docs, then I promise you're going to love it over here. Anyways, that's enough of me. Stay hydrated folks and enjoy the rest of the show. Hey, sorry folks, got one little tech problem that showed up as soon as we transitioned. So we're gonna just hop straight into the game here in just a minute, but give us just a second longer to fix that. We'll be right back.
Yep. And transitioning in three, two. All right, everyone, we are back. Thank you so much for your patience. We had a little bit of an audio issue at the last second there, but we got it fixed. Yeah, we did. All right, so this is Mario Golf Super Rush, a game which I am just okay at. Uh, joining me on commentary is uh, Dayman. Yo, it's it's going. You are now really quiet, and I didn't do anything to you. Awesome, love it. All right, you are now at two hundred percent. Please don't kill me. All right, I'm gonna do my best to not shout. I will try to maintain my commentary into traditional golf fashion. All right, where's Buddy? Okay, let me give Buddy treats really quick. Buddy! Come here! Up! Come here! Up! 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 The switch started, fell out of the dock. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Before we get started, can you go ahead and just get your game audio and just drag the slider down a little? Yep. Better? Better? Uh, I'm listening. Hopefully, yeah. This is like the loudest part. Um, oh, the, the game is not that loud because there's no, there's no audio. So we're going to get started. Uh... Yeah. Fighter of the Nightman is with me. Um, for this category, you have to do uh, uh, the solo challenge. We're going to go through the six levels that are not in the DLC. This game has a ton of DLC. And I gave Buddy his blanket back, as you can see. So, timing starts when I hit button controls. So, uh, I'm going to give a countdown, and then I'll start. we'll start the timer. Three, two, one, go! Right, and we're going to do King bob -omb because his driver goes the farthest. First up is the rookie course. So, Damon, why don't you give them your golf credentials? Um, I golf occasionally. I'm not particularly good. My dad is a professional golf instructor, and so I know a lot about golf with minimal ability. So, it's... Uh, I'm I'm not the golfer in the family, nice but I've encountered some of it through osmosis. There you go. And I missed the I missed the hole, and we're just gonna get par here. Yeah, and so remember this is a speed run. We don't have to always get the the fewest Ready? strokes, we're just trying to complete the course. So doing our best there. Will I have cosmetic wind? I don't know what that means. Probably. Nice. The game has updated. So so, Wait. quick question. Yep. In practice, you were using Bowser, and now you're using King bob -omb. I found out that it's, uh, he has a faster, he has a farther driver, so. Uh, is there any particular trade-off? Um, I didn't think so. It's what they use in the actual speedrun. But I didn't know that because he wasn't in the game when I played. Gotcha. So wow. Pin shot. Damn. Nice on. <laughs> <laughs> I do prefer Bowser, but, uh, you know, if it can help us go a little faster, why not, right? Yeah, keeping things on pace. We would want pretty nicely so far. Ooh, one yard. You did say it, though. My uh, chips have been more consistent than my putts as I put it to, if I chip it to the other side of the fairway. All right. Course management. You're just getting yourself a better angle. Yeah, exactly. And I do it again. <laughs> there we go. Bogey. So, you know, it's all good. Buddy is now gone. He ate every one of those treats. Oh, my goodness. He really was hungry. Who knew you have to feed cats every day? The cats know. The That's cats very true. Very good at reminding you that you need to feed them every day. It was very true. All right. Uh, I messed up the shot there. It's okay. Huh? 
And I hit the pin. All right. And easy putt here. Nice car. Here we go. A little bit different. Made the win numbers worthless. That's fun. Ready? It's like being inside. The numbers are worthless. We're doing top golf now. Nice shot. <laughs> All right, and now we are going to hit around this tree here. Because, I don't know if you know this, uh, the trees are a pain. They uh, they block your shots. That has been my experience with actual golf, is that trees are a substantial obstacle and are quite wide. You know, we're, we're getting par. You know, we're only two over par right now, so... So the big thing with this is knowing the miss hits and that knowing where to hit your ball. That's not where you want to hit your ball. But you know where you do want to put your ball every time in the hole. Great. Uh, it is a little brisk. You know, it's a brisk pace. We are trying to go fast. All right. I'm just getting into a better position. And now get the birdie put out. There we go. Nice birdie. So there's other versions of this. There's like the golf with your friends version where you just like charge up and down the field, the field, the, the, uh, the course. And I'm in the, the bunker. Super rush mode, is it not? Yes, it is. It is the super rush mode. They added a lot of DLC to this game. This game was a little bare when it came out, but they've added in like a ton of characters and a ton of courses. When this game came out, there were six courses. I think there are now more than 12. Like, there's a lot of courses. Wow. Camelot's been doing that. This game's based on the same engine and everything that the the tennis game, the you know, tennis aces, a few years back. Oh. And they supported that game for a year. They added a character a month for a full year. Mm. Wow. Ready? Shout out to developers that support their games, by the way. Absolutely. That's true. It would be a little nicer if it came a little more complete when it came mm. out. But... I do appreciate the long-time support for the people who actually bought the game. Was so. it the last Street Fighter game that had support up until, like, last month or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was a couple months ago they released the Definitive Patch. Hmm. Ready? Yeah, they were originally going to stop supporting it a while ago, uh, but they apparently had issues initially with Street Fighter VI, and they wanted to start over on that one so they did one more season they did a fifth season of of uh content for uh street fighter 5 which ended up being good because that was headed up by the new development team and everyone liked it nice yeah all right nice eagle look at that eagle on the par five just like eagle. that <laughs> eagle <laughs> Nice shot. And we're in the bunker, but it's okay. I'm pretty good at being in the sand. But the rough, different story. Not as good at being in the rough. All right, let's get a nice, let's get the par here, you know? Nice. I think the one drawback to using King of Bomb is that he doesn't have Bowser's shoes. Because we don't yes. know, Bowser's shoes are chain chomps. And it's <laughs> extremely cool. Doesn't he have like a Guy Fieri shirt, like a fire one? He does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good way to describe it. Nice shot. All right, long punt here, 16 feet. 30. Reading the green here, and... Ah... Uh. You always want to go a little more than you think. Yeah, especially in the rain. Yeah, you know. It does hurt a little bit too. Wind in your face. Yep. I'm in your face. I'm in your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Look at this. Go no super mode. <laughs> the bombs are going off. Damn, son. Now that is a cinematic. All right, we're in the rough. It's a par five, though. And we'll just get this nice little birdie here. Birdie. birdie. Eh. Oh, my God. 0.5 feet. Come on. I got to tap it in. 
Nice car. <clears throat> that was not a birdie. I retract my statement. <laughs> Shot. All right, we're in the rough. It's okay. And just get. If we're even with par, I'll be happy. Nice par. We shouldn't just course zero. I'm happy. We just gotta finish it fast. Speed run. Exactly. <laughs> nice shot. All right, and we're just, we're almost done with the rookie course. Uh, I don't have, I have my splits up, but I don't have my actual, um, the timer isn't running because it broke right before. Wow, thanks. It broke right before we went live. So I know what the split times are, but I don't know what the, uh, ready? What time I'm actually at? So I'm gonna use I'm gonna the stream, and I'll tell you when. How what uh, what time you're expecting? There you go. You can do the math. There you go. We got this. We went to college. Nice shot. And get on the green here. It's all about getting on the green. And I think this is the way to go. Ooh, rimmed out. What are the potential drawbacks of using King the Bomb compared to Bowser? Because you said he's got a longer drive. Does he have less control? That might be it. Uh, I panic picked him right before we went live. Cool. Love it. You know, I just want, I didn't want to risk going overestimate. Yeah, so usually picking a brand new character with no prep is the way to do that, yeah? Nice. When you say it like that, it makes it sound like I'm unprepared, you know? I would never make that Ready? suggestion. <laughs> so explicitly. Oh no, I messed it up! <laughs> Alright. Well, you know, we just got ourselves a little closer to the fairway, that's all. Why didn't that go anywhere? Uh, I hit A too fast. Okay. <laughs> All right, and angle, right? yeah, exactly. Just like that. All right. All right. I'm now seeing how far behind my splits I am, and I no longer want to keep track. Unfortunate. So there's three non-DLC courses, right? There's a ton of DLC courses. <laughs> three non-DLC non courses. Right? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Woo. We're not that far behind as I go from bunker to bunker. Look, everyone knows that if you hit it in the bunker, it doesn't roll. If it doesn't roll, that's faster. That's very true. So it's all about saving, all about saving real time. Right. Look at that. You're hitting the rough in the bunker on every single shot. That's the best way to make sure that the ball doesn't roll. It's very, it's very true. The ball won't roll. And we got par, and that is the end of the rookie course. Hey. And we are even with Ten par. Fifty. Look at that. Plus zero. We're only a minute behind. How efficient that is. I am efficient. Bonnie Greens. All right. So this one's kind of the same. It's a little like, you know, different, but it's, you know, it's not that much different. Different, but not that different. I like it. But yeah, like this is still looks like a golf course. These, the next levels don't look anything like golf courses. Gotcha. Like it's got little sheepies in it, you know? All right. I don't know if that's recommended. No, the sheep would definitely eat the grass. They are. I was fact. thinking that they would be target, you know? But... That the old men would try to hit the sheep? <laughs> yeah. I think what you're underestimating is how much money they spend on golf balls. They're not trying to lose one in the rough, you know? Oh. The last one definitely looks like a golf course. Maybe in Australia. So it doesn't look. Oh, the last one is like on fire. Ah, uh, yes. The Bowser Badlands. Yeah. Birdie. Bowser Highlands. Bowser yeah. Highlands, you know. To be fair, I have never played this game, and I have never seen that sage. So I just made up a name, and I got it right. You got I close. <laughs> All right, got our little elf shoes on that Dayman doesn't like. All right. 
I think we can get a par three here. We can get we can get an eagle here. Let's do it. Fun fact: in it's Mexico, I like the shoes. This is the bowsers are better. Fun fact: those are actually fashionable shoes in Mexico. You'll see uh, some 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 people wear these like pointed cowboy shoes, but they're like elf shoes. Huh. It's really today. Fun. I learned. I hit the tree, but I got it off the park. That's good. Here we go. Long chip in here. Not even close, but we're on the green. We got a birdie here. Birdie. Not even close. We're gonna get par. Here we go. Here we go. Rimmed it in. Rim shot. All right, the next two courses should be a little easier. Like par two, par fours, and a par three. I am posting a picture in Discord if anybody would like to see. Of the. The pointed shoes. Of they're the like pointed shoes. Boots, but they're really long. Nice shot. All right. All right, here we go. Let's sink this putt. Wow. That's just unlucky. How often does that actually happen? I feel like it happens all the time in the game, but I feel like it can't possibly happen as often in regular golf. It's not that often. It means you hit it a little bit too hard. Nice shot. All right. And the rough. But it's okay. And in the rough again. Just get a nicer putt here. And put it in. There we go. Ready? Par three should be nice and easy with the cosmetic wind blowing uh, across across the course. Nice shot. So you like golf, Day Man? What what is your favorite Mario Golf game? Total Tour. Except for my copy is broken, so I need to buy a new copy. Sad. I bought it. I bought it used in like I don't know, nice. 2005, 2006. Mm. It was kind of screwy. I got it for cheap. I probably bought it used at like a GameStop or something. And I was playing it the other day and I'd get like five holes into a course and it would just crash. I'm like, okay, well, I guess that that's that. So I need to buy a new copy, but I love that game. Even apart from that, I recently realized how many golf games nice I on. own or have played. And it's quite a bit. <laughs> nice. nice. Birdie. Very good. Now we're par, we're even at par again, you know. Ready? Um, you know, we were talking earlier about how well the uh, the game show went. You have any other ideas for game shows you want to do? I do. I do want to do a clue run back because I think that that went really well, and I think on a higher difficulty, with a little bit um, more of a nuanced game, that that could be really really fun. And potentially even with more people, because it can handle up to six people, and you just get less information. Games take a little bit longer, but I think it could be fun to run maybe with, like, four. Yeah, a fourth, I think, would be a good addition. Yeah, because then I think that moves everyone down to having a few cards each. And they could go to five instead of seven, so it'd be fun. Um, I have a few other ideas. For a 1v1, I really want to do Battleship and have the boards on screen that we can update in real time so that the, the chat can watch like the unfolding battle i think that'd be really cool that sounds awful for the person not it sounds really fun but it sounds awful if you're the person playing because you're just gonna look like an idiot the whole time yes exactly i think it would be very fun for the chat I think I think the chat, you know, I think the chat, you know, they don't give us enough credit. Uh, you know, we uh, we have to we we don't know the things that they know. Like during like uh, Wheel of Fortune, everybody gets to like bounce ideas off, you know, and yeah, it's like I'm watching the chat. It's not as much idea bouncing as people just getting it before you. Well, they have more information. Sure, 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 sure. Wheel went well last time. Last weekend's wheel, I think, was was very nice. I'm worried that we're, like, too good for wheel now. 
Nice! I want a real N64 ROM hack where I can just add my own puzzles. Nice oh, the, someone has had to have made that, right? That, that's, that's the dream. Uh, if they don't have a level editor for a uh, wheel on the 64, then I'd be very disappointed. But Ooh. I would also be very surprised if someone bothered to put that together for like a $20 game tech game from 1997. Come on now. I have SNES Jeopardy, which we've tested. That was hard. It's really hard. I'll never forget that in our test game, one of the, the categories nice. for Jeopardy, we had islands and fictional islands <laughs> as two different categories. Nice. <laughs> the nice thing about that one is that you can reject the categories. Right before it starts, you can hit select, and it will just make them all go away. I'm having a bit of a meltdown here on the, on the back nine. Yeah, I'm trying not to say anything about it, but it's not going particularly well. That's fair. It's one way. It's putting it mildly. I have other game show ideas that I would like to put together. Let me find my list. Oh, yeah. I think I mentioned this in my interview. Nice Trivial Pursuit Unhinged. <sighs> yeah. That's got to happen. I want to do nice. Card Sharks, which I think would be fun. Ooh. Yeah. And I nice think it'd be good to do something akin to something like very straightforward, Ready? like Yahtzee. You could have. So I think that, that would be fun to keep track of something a little bit more fast paced. But as far as for the large scale ones go, we got to do more wheel. We can make wheel harder. There are more versions of it. We can move forward in time or backward in time. And I'm sure we could find ways to make it more challenging. Is there a Wheel of Fortune for the NES? Nice. Uh, uh, Game Boy. Birdie. For the Game Boy? There is a Wheel of Fortune for the NES, by the way. Is there? I know that there's SNES Wheel of Fortune. I didn't know that there was a... I believe my friend had a copy of it. I'd have to double check. But mm. Interesting. I, 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 was very, I was very certain that it was until you... Ready? Just until you challenged me, so... Uh, well, I, I remember looking before, because I know that they have one on Super Nintendo. I don't know if they have one in the, in the original NES. That'd be interesting. <gasps> and also nice. terrible. That was almost, almost, almost. Nice very, very birdie. Close. So a birdie on a par three, you know? We'll take it. Take it where I can get it. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're, we're, we're rocking and rolling. I think we could do Wheel of Fortune, and it might be fun to have new people on, you know? Like, have new contestants. Yep. I love it. I mean, I I would keep doing it if people keep wanting us to do it. I'll do, I'll do it forever. Long Bomb. It's America's game. Never yeah. Before. There are so many. I would be interested in doing Jeopardy, but we'd have to do, like, a newer one. Yeah, I agree. A newer one that has like category options. Nice shot. You know? Yeah. Right. I hate to say it, but like maybe Kids Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Kids Jeopardy from the early 2000s would unironically be like easy er. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Nice. Like I said, I agree with Clocky. More Wheel of Fortune. I think that that's something that is Ready? really good for the audience as well as for the people that are participating and then i definitely want to do more clue i didn't think clue would go well at all i just wanted to do that as an experiment but it did go well so definitely need to make that happen yeah i mean i don't even want to think about what the most hard category is like you know that's got to be like oh the hyper obscure clues yeah well, there has to be relevant to your suggestion, so the best thing that they could do was say a thing that one of the, that your character does not possess. Like, if you, whatever it was, it was like, Plum, Knife, Ballroom, they could just say Professor Plum didn't have the rope, or Professor Plum was not in the billiard room. Like, that's as obscure as it gets, and that's not particularly helpful, but it does gradually start narrowing things down. Because you're getting a hint every turn, basically. Yeah. Going. I my whole thing about the uh, 
like the uh both so both times that i that i got it really early i think all three of those games were whatever like the first one the, so the second game of clue i specifically was like all right I, we got to speed this up so i was just like random shoot here we go i think i got it uh the third game i'm like okay i'm just getting myself out of this right so and then i ended up being right I was like, oh, I can justify this guess. Uh, by the way, we are done with Bonnie Green's on to Ridge Rock Lake. All right. Um, but then the fourth and the fifth time, I knew it for fucking sure. Yeah. Well, the, like Quote said, I mean, the, the, the clues were as helpful as they could possibly be once you got to the, um, the interrogation. I also, both those games, I had three people cards. Oh, I know. So once I hear once I hear who you guys are guessing, I'm like, oh, I think I know who it is. I intentionally nice. guessed Mr. Green when I already had the Mr. Green card Did you? to throw you off, and that didn't work. Nice. Sometimes that can be helpful though, because then you know that you're um, that the other information. I think because Quo wrong. also guessed Mr. Green, so I figured I thought one of you had to be lying. But it really was that uh, there was a, a linked pair. I was telling yeah. Damon about this. On my scorecard, if the cards I had all had X's, but if we had a link, then I numbered them. I don't know what that means. Nice. So, like, if Miss Scarlet um, has the knife has been confirmed, and then knife was in the billiard room is confirmed, then he already knows that Scarlet nice. was in the billiard room. So it's like assigning them a number. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I I had I think I had solved one person and I just didn't have a chance to interrogate it. You like went straight for it. You shot your shot instantly. So yeah. This still looks like a golf course. When do we get to the non-golf course? Oh, we're getting there. Okay. There are giant clouds. We're on the side of a mountain and there are giant clouds that blow at you. Excellent. Nice. There's also mini tornadoes apparently. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Here we go. Uh, this also has lightning, which will strike you if you hit too hard. Ready? You know, you're wishing golf in a thunderstorm. Just a PSA. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hit the tree again. That's the old day man special. Mm-hmm. That's me. All right, nice little par stroke here, and... Bogey, whatever. Bogey. This is a fun party game with friends. Nice. Ready? We are doing the Mario Golf Invitational. That has been met. Very true. For for stretch goals this time around, mainly because um, some of the stuff isn't done yet. Like we haven't done all of the stuff, but we're, we're we've been working on it. Like I have one more banjo stream to do. Right. Uh, we we didn't do anything for video or event this time because it's like no, you know, it's too much. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Um. But, like, streamed stuff and, like, content that we can make and premiere later, that was the goal. I agree. That's all stuff that, you know, it's it's easy enough that we can knock those out pretty quickly. Doesn't yeah. require a, a crazy time investment. Those yeah. are the ones that we can get done. So Yeah. Like, the, the WWE thing is un unintentionally um, intensive because I didn't realize that I'd have to unlock stuff. But I'm just like, hey, listen. Crunchy Brown is going to go to the ring like Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's the fucking bottom line, right? Yeah. My my theme song is going to be, Oh, you didn't know? That's going to happen. It has to be. It ha like, literally. All right, in the water. If you can land in the penalty area, they're like, We're going to put your ball pretty close to where it was. Yeah, usually that's how it goes. Yeah. I'm trying try again. It didn't work. All right. Oh, uh, you also get a penalty stroke every time you do it. We're just going to cross this English channel here. All right. And 
In the water again. All right. I'll take the long way around. And then land up here. Yeah, I did one match and got like 43 currency. So, you know, it's going to be a while. Unless, did you find like a, a cheap way to get currency? Um, I haven't looked into it because I've been doing this, but you know, right. That was a 10. Ooh. Ready? Oh, serenity now. Such a sad nice king shot. bomb. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, you know, I thought the only person I thought it'd be funnier if I came to the ring as was Macho Man. Naturally. Yeah. Nice approach. All right, and we're Birdie. almost to the back of nine here. All right, there, par. Nice par. You know, we're a little behind, but you know, we're doing okay. We're hanging out. Very good. Very good. One idea I had for nice shot. Uh, like a quasi game show thing that I think could be interesting is making two people cooperate. Um, to nice to beat something, but without any communication. Nice. Like my initial thought was, like, set up a level from like Advance Wars, and then have you like alternate taking turns, but you're not allowed to talk to each other nice. and see if you could beat it. Like, interesting. People, like one person goes, and then the computer goes, and then the other person, Ready? and then see if that would work. It, probably, but it, not necessarily that game. But like something where it's a bit of a puzzle to be solved and see if they could beat it without communicating so i think that that would be fun to watch two people think and try to understand what the other person is doing i had a thought one time that it'd be funny if someone did no keep talking and nobody explodes but you can you can't talk you can only look at each other Nice car. Oh, you can like you would, impossible. No, you like, could do it. impossible. No, you There's could do no it. No way. Explain complex wires through eye movements. You can't. No, you can. We could like mime. You could like charade it out, dude. No. Yeah, charades would be easy, a little easier, but not. I mean, that's still super, super hard. I love that game though. The game's so good. Oh my god, I almost got another hole in one. Please, game. Give me one. Ready? We're, we're As my teacher would far, say, the game will not give you one. You have to earn. Nice All right. Take one for to cut, <laughs> twice for no cut. Yeah, but you'd have to talk about that to uh, establish that sign. All right, hit a log and then hit the rock. It's the man of the scissors, you know. Cut it out. What a Dave Coulier. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Nice. So if you're playing Keep Talking Nobody Explodes, do you want to be the diffuser or the manual consultant? Which which is your role? Me? I've never yeah, played. If you're, playing, if you've never played? Nope. How about you, CC? Have you played? Uh, I have played as the manual consultant. I have never played as the diffuser. You gotta do both. He didn't have the game, I don't think. Ah. Uh, that sounds right. I was watching Lemon. I helped him out. I might have the game now. I don't know if I did at the time. Clocky has it. He loves it. Clocky, are you a better diffuser or are you a better manual consultant? What's crazy is I think there are some people who can do it themselves. Nice. They know the manual backwards and forwards to the point where they can do it on their own. And I'm like, you're insane. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's if you just memorize it, then the game's really fast. But that's not the point. Yeah. Like, at that point, you're no longer playing the game. Ooh, we have a donation. Mama CJ with $20 that says, Estad is doing amazing things. Thanks, Devin, for being a part of this event. Go, CJ. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Ma. Ma. Nice approach. Birdie. Nice. All right, Birdie. We're crawling back, you know. All right, here we go. We're going to we going to get birdies on these next four holes to finish at par. Huh? Huh? 
All right, I got blown by the damn cloud. All right, I have to chip this one in. Here we go. So, so much for cosmetic. Weight. Wow. Wow. I, I even let it go slow to be dramatic. Nice. All right, par. All right, now I just need an eagle. That's all. That's I, can, all. I can get an eagle on the on a par four. Go. Yeah, just right. don't suck. All right. Just get good. I think we choose to be better. <sighs> all right. All right, maybe not this one, but I can chip this in. Here we go. My wedge is better than my putter. I like they're still maintaining the anti-roll strategies. Never land on the fairway, never land on the green. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, bogey. All right, now we need two eagles. Well, even that's Ready? not enough. Well, there's three courses. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. Nice. Alright, you know, nice. we're just we're just hanging on, you know. Ready? Uh we're only like two minutes behind. Two minutes on the span of thirty-five is pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think so. What's your PB? One oh eight. Okay. World record was 45. Nice approach. Okay. 30. Uh, but when I stopped, world record was like an hour. Nice birdie. Gotcha. Yeah. And now you've got King Babam, which is going to save, I mean, frames. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo. All right. And just like that, we're on to the next course of Balmy Dunes. Balmy Dunes. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we're playing in a desert. It's like the beach, but more. Yeah. Ready? No, not like the beach at all. Yeah, it's like sand. Hills of sand, like the beach. But like more beach and less ocean. Mm hmm. Well, we do have another uh, milestone incentive right now. We were talking about it earlier and we got I got distracted, but... Nice! Uh, we have... The next milestone is 6,000, which is a big number. Big it number. is a big number. And at 6,000, I hit the damn uh, thingy. Uh, no. Yeah, what? Yeah. What? what? I hit the giant spiny. That's not the incentive. That's just he's no. commentating what's happening. What happens at six thousand? Uh, Team Speed Ducks does a uh, hardcore Minecraft, isn't it? Ready? Ooh. So, right. yeah, that'll be like. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit that like an old school like let's play. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be better. And then we're going to air it on Twitch first. We're not gonna like just upload it to extras directly. Yeah, I get you. Hardcore parkour, and literally nobody could do that. You doubt me? I, I yeah. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Unregistered hypercam too. Yes. I landed on the bridge, sort of. Bandycam.com. There are so many videos on YouTube that are like, oh, this is just bandy cam. And it looks pretty good, despite the fact that it's like 10 years old. Dude. Crazy thing, we had to do all that. And now we have OBS, which is free and open source and works beautifully. Yeah. And uh, here I am just trying to get a, a workaround for HGCP in 2022. 
That is true. Which a bunker. Is just a splitter. Yeah, but they don't all work. That's just unfortunate. This happened to me earlier. Go ahead. Does Go ahead. anyone even use nice. X Split anymore? I feel like OBS is just completely saturated the market. Uh, I think there are some holdouts, but doesn't I don't Chris think use X Split? Nearly... Yeah, I believe that's correct. Why? I, I said there are some holdouts. I don't know why. I don't get what X Split does over OBS. Cost money. Um, Double bogus. And it costs money, yeah. So that's you know. its main feature, is that it's not free. <laughs> is it like a subscription? Ready? I uh, think so. Yeah. Chris uses that and he pays money for it. We can't even use SRT with uh, that. Like I said, I I really don't know why people choose XSplit over it uh, over OBS. So just like you know? a flex, it's like yeah, I pay. <laughs> Maybe. I think that his thing was that it, OBS just doesn't work for him. Like I remember trying to set him up and it just didn't work. Maybe. It's also possible he has that like um, fancy mic thing. The uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like always dynamic mic or something. It's like always open, but it you know opens and closes properly whenever he speaks, noise canceling and all that stuff. But in every application, it looks like it's always transmitting. Oh, yeah. Weird. Yeah. So, I it, if it works for him, it works for him. But I, like I said I really don't get I don't get the advantages. Bogey. That one hurt my soul. Ready? Look how sad the king is. Stop making the king sad. Get in the hole faster. Oh, thanks. I'll work on that. Honestly, I don't mind subscriptions. I just wish there was a one-time purchase for everything. Like, I will give you $60 right now if I never have to give you money again. All right, I'm in the penalty area, but at least I got back on the green or back on the fairway. Nice shot. Xenos, it, it feels like if you're going to use it for more than a year, premium is literally the, the option, the way to go. What? 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 You got robbed. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty great. One. I'm watching the stream. That was ridiculous! Around yeah. the world, baby! <laughs> the spin zone. <laughs> it's a goddamn cyclone. Around the world, around the world. Wow. Is that Daft Punk? Yeah. It's the song where they say that around the world a hundred times. Yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Spin to win. Ready? Spin to win, baby. All right. We have some really fun runs coming up after this. We do. We have, for those of us that are interested, we've got, oh, I mean, first of all, most importantly, we got the raffle. Yeah, CJ's Prize Corner. CJ's Prize Corner. And then immediately after that, we got Super Mario 64, 120 star. DKC2, all DK coins, the Beat Mario category. And then we got Resident Evil Village, and then Resident Evil 3. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I am doing some of those. Nice shot. That's right. You're hosting Spooky Block. Is that right? With CC. Very nice. There you go. I'll be his emotional support. Yep. I only turn the stream on every once in a while so that people would know that I was there. Um, 
and so that people could occasionally get me freaking out about the horror shit. Resident Evil's not that scary. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone says that, man. Everyone's like, it's not that scary, CJ. I'm like, I don't like scary. You have, you and I have different thresholds. It's like when you drink like hot sauce out of the bottle, and you're like, it's not that hot. I'm like, I have a lower tolerance than you do. I don't yeah, know. It's not, it's not drinking hot sauce out of the bottle. You're the person that gets pepperoni pizza and is like, ooh, that pepperoni is a little bit much. Yeah, like, it is. That's, it's. <laughs> I am. I'm not. I don't know what you want. Like, I keep telling you all. Like, it's fine that we have different thresholds, but everyone that's like, it's not that scary. It's not that. Do you have any idea? Like, I get scared from anything. It doesn't have to be the scariest thing ever made to, for it to be scary to me. I get scared from Luigi's Mansion. It freaks me out, man. I don't like being scared. I don't know what I have to do to, to get that through to all of you. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. We're probably just going to tease you forever. It's fine. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't like that it's not that scary. If you want to make fun of me for being a bitch about it, like, that's fine. That's fine. I opened myself up to that. But, you know, like, oh, it's not that scary? Get out of here. So what about, like, horror adjacent? What about something like House of the Dead, where it's, like, action and scary-ish no. things. No. See, as long as it's not, like, acts of horror. Okay. So, like, so some... zombie, zombies and running at you. Red. Now, do I... I don't like actual zombies, like, oh, this is someone turning into a zombie? No. That's not... That's not my get-down. Um, like, gore? Mmm. That's not really for me. Get out of the way of this giant rock face here. Um, like mutilation? No, I hit the damn rock. Okay, thank you. Some people were into those like like the Saw movies or like torture porn, and I'm like, I mm -mm. don't get why. No, oh my like god, this. no, no, no. I, I, I don't understand why people enjoy this. Yeah, Saw <laughs> Saw is one of the things that's like rip my button. Um, yeah. I uh, I don't like I don't like not being able to see. So the dark. Mm. <sighs> yeah uh what, let me think i think the biggest things are like oh this guy got his hand cut off that will always freak me out yeah clocky see we we disagree on that <laughs> or like don't get it. or like um <laughs> like there's like movies where people turn into animals. Oh my god. No. Oh no 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 no. Freaks me the fuck out. Can you give me an example of a movie in which someone turns into an animal? Yeah, all the time. Uh The Emperor's New Groove. Ready? Uh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, you've gotta be kidding me. That is you were not afraid of the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I was. I was when I was a kid. That shit freaked oh me out. God. That that plot device freaks me the fuck out. Uh, let's see, rock a doodle. <laughs> that last scene was wild for you. It's a different uh, animal every five seconds. No, it's honestly being turned into a llama and then being thrown off a cliff. <laughs> that was the worst. Uh, the ending is funny. The whole movie is funny. Of a, of someone being turned into an animal, animorphs, dude. Ready? Oh my god. The late the farmers, robots. In no, the sky. that's different. Animorphs. <laughs> the girl turns into a red tail hawk and then is stuck as a hawk forever. Because she didn't turn back into an hour. Terrifying. Okay, that, that plot device of not changing back and you're left as an animal forever, that is a little scary. Okay, but... thank you. <laughs> But it's just I love how the Emperor's new groove is your primary example. I was the first one that came to mind. What do you want? <laughs> that I means that that was like that was ready. Be. That was, was like <laughs> in the chamber. You were ready to say Emperor's New Groove. I got it on deck. Ready? Beast Boy from Teen Titans. No, that's fine. The, it's it's if it's a willing thing, that's different. The guy can also change back. The peep like the lady couldn't change back. Also, they didn't turn him into a llama with his consent. I mean, in fairness, they tried to kill him. The llama was an accident. Okay. He was supposed to just die. I understand. But, yeah, again, not his consent. 
Uh, like the movie The Walrus, uh, that makes me like, that's like my worst. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. With Justin Long. Uh, I think I saw an image of it and I was like, that is pretty cursed. So, damn. I don't like just get squeamish looking at zombies. Like I play a lot of zombies games, like Nazi zombies. But as long as it's contained to action, right? Like I don't like start freaking out when I look at Left 4 Dead. I also don't look freak out looking at images from from uh, Resident Evil. It's that they jump out at you, that they're deformed, mutilated things that like just chase you down, and they come out of nowhere. It's like oh. That's not scary. That's terrifying. Also, I'm doing a 12 hour Resident Evil stream and that's already been decided. I'm just, you know, nice I'm leaving the lights on. There you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in October, but I'm leaving the lights on. Did you, play Luigi's did you play Luigi's Mansion 3? I know you said you played 1. I did. That one had no scary to it at all. 3 is not scary at all. No, no it's just like silly. I, I mean, so is 1. No, you're fine. Ready? I, I genuinely don't understand why some... I don't understand why people like... Um, scary movies, and I don't understand why people like roller coasters because I think you guys just want to die. I think that's what it is. I like living. I want to stay right where I am. I want to cling to this mortal coil on a freaking life support machine. That you guys want to just tempt fate. It's the adrenaline rush, baby. I can't do it. The ring? Oh my god. I'm so glad that videotapes are out of vogue so that the ring will never happen. <laughs> I don't think you were in any danger of the ring happening anyway. <laughs> you say that. They didn't think that in the movie either. Ready? You have a point. Nice shot. Nice song. <sighs> you love roller coasters because you because you are just are a thrill seeker. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna make your entrance Jeff Hardy. Nice. Clocky, you're Jeff Hardy. You and Gaffy are the Hardy boys. Mm -hmm. Ready? Oh, what is it? Frank and Joe? Fred and Joe? I'm talking about Matt and Jeff Hardy, but you know. Oh, I was thinking of the Hardy boys. No, I'm thinking of the Hardy boys with a Z. The wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Shot. It should not surprise you that I read a lot of Hardy Boy books back when I was a kid. I yeah, that makes sense. Nice car. Ready? Did you ever read that or watch that show, Pushing Daisies? I did not. It was a guy who had the power. He could reanimate the dead if he touched them. They would come back to life. Something else in the immediate area would die of equal life force. So if you brought a person back to life, a person would die. If you brought a cat back to life, a cat would die, right? But... He discovered his powers because his mom died and he brought her back to life. Then later, she kissed him goodnight and she died permanently. He couldn't bring her back. He uses this power to uh, help this like PI guy solve cases like on the side by bringing the murder victims back to life and asking them how they died. Interesting. Like circumstances of their death. Yeah. If he touches them again within a minute, they just die again. And nobody else dies. If he doesn't touch anybody else, then someone else has to die. He brings his girlfriend back to life. Um, because she dies mysteriously. Sorry, he brings a girl back to life that he ends up falling in love with. But they can't touch, because if he just touches her, she dies. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting plot device. It got cancelled because of the writer's strike in 09. That writer's strike killed a lot of <laughs> Yeah, it did. Um, 
Scrubs was supposed to end at the end of season seven, and then the writer strike. Yep. Heroes was a show that I think was doing all right, and then it just really went off the deep end. That show should have been a miniseries, and that should have been it. Do you think that because of how it turned out, or because you thought that the premise itself didn't work? Isn't he Heroes' whole thing is that he can just fix any problem, right? Um, Wasn't it like a time thing? It's been a long time since I saw it. I don't remember his power off the top of my head. But, um, like, they always had to write him out of the story somehow because he just is too powerful. So every every problem can just be solved by Hero. So it's like, oh, we have to find unique ways to get him out of the story every every season, you know? Just doesn't make said, any I sense. I watched like the first one or two seasons, and I remember he had yeah. the power to like see the future, and that was the whole save the cheerleader, save the world thing. Yeah. So, season eight of Scrubs was good, um, but season nine was bad. Ready? I don't remember the seasons by number, but I do know I've seen every episode. Season nine was the one where they tore down the hospital and made it a school. Maybe I didn't see season nine. There you go. <laughs> because there was a hiatus. Maybe they saw everything before the hiatus. Yeah, so I love Scrubs. Scrubs is one of my favorite shows. The thing with season nine was that it was like during like the recession period, right? I think that season seven came out in 07, actually, now that I think about it. But it was during the recession, it was like 08, and people weren't working, and ABC said, hey, listen, um, we want another season of the show, we want, so the creator was like, alright, uh, this is gonna be another chance for everyone to work for another year. So, don't ask for more money, if you ask for more money, they're gonna cut you from the show. So, like, a few of the principal actors and actresses asked for more money and got written out of the show. Um, and then they were like, it's just a chance for everybody to work for another year. The crew, you know, the supporting cast, everybody. So that's what they did. And then they were like, they wrote characters out for episodes based on the actor's work schedules. So like if John C. McGinley had a movie he was going to do, they would write him like that week or they'd write him out of the episode. It was just a way for everybody to work for another year. And they said, if somebody, if one of the new kids takes off like Mork and Mindy, like Robin Williams and Mork and Mindy, then they'll pick it up for another season. Um, but nobody pops like that, you know? It's like a one, that's like a unicorn. So, right. Mm. Then the show just ended. The show ended with them tearing the wall down of a dorm so that the two characters could get closer. And then that was the last episode. They, like, broke through a closet to Ready? merge two dorm rooms together so they could have, like, a co-apartment. By the way, not how that works. My girlfriend in college couldn't have a, a fridge larger than a certain size in her room without it, like, getting, like, a fine or something. They're not letting you, like, tear down a wall. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. No, you can't even have, like, a toaster. Yeah, she had, she was limited in what, the size of a fridge could be. I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And they would come in with a measuring tape. Like, surely she didn't replace her mini fridge halfway through the season with a bigger one. Now, they also had regulations on, like, extension cords. Like, you couldn't have an extension cord that wasn't also a surge protector. I remember that. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I just remember everything about those dorms was like the worst. It was like, it felt like the air in there felt like you were walking into a hospital. Like industrial cleaner and just like stinky hot, like humid. It's like stank. I remember there was a community uh, washer dryer, which like the one time i went was like shut down because it was like oh shut it was like cleaning for like i guess i shouldn't actually say what the sign said but 
Uh, it was like just bad. It was like everyone's clothes. People would take your clothes out of the washer and like throw them on the floor. Like they're wet. They didn't even put them in the dryer. Ready? Gosh. It's That's just like, gross. Yeah, so it was just like wet clothes on the floor. In general, you know, we, we, we put college kids in dorms. It's like, you know, they're learning how to like navigate the world, but at the same time, they're, some of them kids don't belong in a shared space. Nice. Some of them are better than others at, at it, so, you know. That's very fair. Bad, bad eggs in there. Yeah. Who was the worst roommate you ever had, Dayman? I never had to deal with that explicitly because of um, the guy I was supposed to room with my first year uh, opt uh, canceled his like housing plan and then they just never replaced him. <laughs> <laughs> and so and I asked about that. I'm like, hey, so are you giving me someone else? And they're like, eh, probably not. I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> so, so I just didn't have that. Nice. Um, Ready? You just never had a roommate then? Uh, no. Because then I uh, was in a, a single dorm until I moved into an apartment. Nice. Yeah. I remember that I dated a girl that went to this other college. It was a different college than the one I was just talking about. And it was hard to get me in there. It was just like a pain in the ass. Um, I had to sign into the guest book and I wasn't allowed to be there after eight. Birdie. Uh, it was the all woman dorm too, so it was like just a pain in the ass. But yeah, um, there was a side door that occasionally they would leave unlocked, and I remember she was in a pod, so she, there was like a common room and then like four or five, but there was no bathroom. There was a floor bathroom, and I remember that she had four girls in her room, and one of the girls never left, only to go to class. And she played on her 3DS the entire time. I respect it. And they made they made fun of her because it was a fashion. It was she was in the fashion school, so it was like she was taking all these fashion classes, and all the other girls in her That's like sweet. Hilarious. And so she just chilled. She went to class, did yeah. her work, and then just like hung out and played. Yeah. I don't know, like Animal Crossing <laughs> or something. For yeah. Her. So so she would yeah so like that's what she worlds. did. <laughs> Basically yeah. She's just like playing bravely default in her dorm room. It was kind of interesting because there was twelve girls in that room, and there were four rooms, and there was a bunk bed, and then they had brought in a like a like a I don't want to call it like a rollaway bed, but that was basically what it was. It wasn't like a permanent bed frame. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. What's the timer at? Uh, we just passed one hour and 40 seconds. All right. So, fun fact. Uh, this is going to be close to my estimate, but we're going to be okay. You know, Very nice. if anyone's watching this and actually does speedrun Mario Golf, I just want to let you know, I did not submit this for my ability to play Mario Golf. There you go. I submitted this because it's my event and I have to do stuff. I have to run. There we go. Long bomb. Nice. Pump. Finishing out on a high note. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah. So we're only five minutes behind my. Uh, we're only five minutes behind. It's okay. Oh wow! I can now use a star club set. I think that I'm supposed to use that. Let's let's use it. Let's equip it. Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Ready? All right. Star Club set. Yeah. My now I can drive the ball thirty yards farther. That's the Camelot Classic. Yeah. Wow. Now we have the time save. It make you want to play it? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on with this game. So, Damon, if we have any donations, now would be a good time. Let's take a look. We've got, let's see, 
We do have one. We have CJ's sister Sarah that with thirty dollars that says, "Let's go, Happy Gilmore." Nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. Dollars, and that contributes to our Resident Evil nice. language poll. Let's take a look and see what that's coming in at. <laughs> so we're just refreshing here. It looks like that poll. We have a slight lead with German currently, and then we've got uh, French is a close second, Spanish and English behind that. No one wants Japanese yet. Still some time for that one. And then we are currently have the Jill's outfit poll as regular at $40 and the RE1 style sitting at 25 So it looks like we're most likely going to be seeing that. But again, still plenty of time to get your opinion heard. Mice. Ready? All right. I'm getting hungry, so I'm glad that my run's almost over. Saying yeah. TBH. Aren't you restreaming the next run? No. Oh, there you go then. Then to get out of the bunker there. Nice. All right. Redeeming yourself. We like it. So you're going to finish this under par, right? Yeah. All right. Nice shot. Yeah. Get in there. All right. Yeah, this is the level that doesn't look like a level. Yeah, it looks like you're hitting onto like metal and like stone. Yeah. I do like the models they have for Blark, though. All right. One day I'm going to find the fucking green. Wow. Are you serious? Okay, so about being under par. Are you kidding me? I mean, going for the record? All right, putt, putt for, for the love of God. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm now six over par. All right, you still, you still got this. Still got this, right? Right? Ready? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, that was annoying. Wow. Jesus, stop going so far. I might recommend to not use topspin at point blank range. I'm not trying when... to. <laughs> okay. Double boat. All right. We're at plus eight. It's okay. This is like. You know, we're going to get a par three here. Here we go. We're getting a birdie. Ah. Right. Never mind. We're going to get we'll just put the ball in the hole. Here we go. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in. I just tap my ball. Ready? All right, here we go. Uh, I could use some help on commentary here if you have anything you want to say. Yeah, it's tough because I'm seeing everything about a shot and a half um, <laughs> apart from real time. But uh, in the meantime, as we're kind of closing this one out, 
Uh, would you recommend this game to other buddy uh, as a speed run or as a casual event? It seems like there's quite a bit of content. Uh, yeah, no, this game now is a lot better than when I put it down because there's so much to do. There's so many golfers, there's so many courses. <laughs> There's so many different modes. If you know anyone that has this game, this game can be a lot of fun. Um, I highly recommend it for that. There's a lot of content. I think that this year there was a growing sentiment that like, you know, Nintendo games, they don't give you a lot for your money at the moment. You know, they're just kind of like, they're kind of taking your money. But uh, I think this game really does give you a lot of content for your dollars. That's good. How's the online? It's Nintendo. I don't really, you know, if you know, you know. Yeah, it's it varies pretty drastically from game to game because, you know, I, I know that Camelot did pretty well with tennis aces, in a, especially in that they gave you like connection quality alerts before you even joined up in a match but of course tennis is a little bit different because that's in real time this is always going to be turn-based but i meant as far as like modes and functionality like it's pretty smooth just getting through a game yeah i think so nice do we have uh as far as single player content goes are there any like challenge there's a, like there's like, in the past. There's like a story adventure mode thing. It's good. So there's there is stuff I think. There are solo challenges that you can do. Nice. I think there's a lot of content here if you like golf. Right. If you don't like golf, I don't think this game is going to make you like golf. <laughs> right? Some people are like, you know, I like meat, but I don't know if I'm ready to love meat, you know. It's like for a reason they don't order the meat lover pizza. It's like, well, you there know, you doesn't have to be that kind of commitment. All right, what am I going to do here? Um, Hit right through him, I guess, right? Uh, how about I just putt out of the way here? Ricochet off the wall? Can you bank it off the wall? Um, Not there. From that angle, I couldn't. Damn. That's unfortunate. Nice shot. All right. We my, come... uh, my favorite ones in past Mario Golf games was like Ring Challenge. And yeah. Well, I think that's what it's called, but you have to hit it through the rings there. Mm. It was very fun. It requires you to play courses in different ways. Ready? And then how's the speed golf mode where you actually run behind your ball? I don't like that mode that much because um, I don't like the the funny golf games as much as everybody else does. But if you're into it, I think it's a take on it, you know? Nice car. I think there's a lot to it, but I I personally don't like it. It's not an indictment would, on the mode. You would just rather play the golf. Yeah, I'd rather play regular golf. I don't like golf with your friends. I don't like those other games. Golf it. That's not my get down. What the golf was really good, but that's a different kind of thing. Wow. Okay, backspin. All right. Birdie. I feel like I've been robbed of a few really great shots. Like right there. A better question might be, why do you not already like Luigi? Will this game make me like Luigi? A better question oh. might be, will it make, why do you not already like Luigi? Oh, I see now. I see now. He is the lesser brother, so, you know. Yeah. Well, canonically, which one of them is older? That's Mario? A good question. I've always thought of Luigi as the little brother, even though he's technically taller. Yeah. Nice song. Yeah, I lose track. How that goes. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know the lore. You know, you'd think that after, uh, you know, what is it? 30-ish years of of Mario being out that, you know, we, we know the lore a little better, but... Isn't the lore in Super Mario Brothers, the original for the NES, that uh, all of the people in the kingdom have been turned into bricks? And that's why there's so many brick blocks I've around? I've heard that before. The toads were, I think. Yeah. Aren't the subjects of the Mushroom Kingdom toads, though, you know? Yeah. Yes. So it's the, it, you're killing people. Mark yeah. Is a murderer. Yeah. 
he ends their suffering. He's gotta get them coins though. It's their soul. Nice approach. Yeah, the lore is kind of all over the place. Like, and Mario he's a plumber. Just to play. Yeah. Mario Two is a dream. Mm -hmm. Mario's name is Mario Mario, and his brother's name is Luigi Mario. That is true. <sighs> Some of this feels like a translation error. <laughs> Almost certainly. There's lots of things that are just translation errors, but we've run with it. Like in Zelda, it's not supposed to be rupees. It's supposed to be rubies. <laughs> and then there's like, eh, rupees is fine. <laughs> Rubles. Isn't the Indian currency rupees like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. Which is why they went with it as like a as a currency, even though it was supposed to be rubies. It just seems weird to be like, I got a green ruby. I got a blue yeah. ruby, you know. Yeah, that's weird. Ready? Because we generally associate rubies with red color. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, it ends up working out maybe better. But uh, possibly. Stuff like that happens. Pause, I don't think, I don't think in India people are lugging around gigantic, colorful gems to pay no, for things no, at the I store. Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> or hopefully they'd be worth more than a couple. You know, the big green one is worth more than one. I think I would hope. <laughs> yeah. Nice car. You just give people these giant gems and are like, "All right, I found these in a loaf of bread." <laughs> yeah. Ready? I sold the cow for some magic beans. That cost me 10,000 rupees. All right. We're coming up on time here. Time will be when the ball goes in the hole for the final time. Uh, so we have one more course after this. I completely missed the damn pin. Or, yeah. I was hoping to finish under 115. So here we go. I don't think that's going to happen. But the last one is a par 5. So it's a chance of an eagle, is what you're saying. Yeah, here we go. Ready? Redemption eagle? Let's do it. Eagle! 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 There's like some echo. I don't know where it's from, but uh, I do love it. It makes it sound more authentic. All right, here we go. Now I'm in the rough. Just get the ball in the hole. All right, putt. Am I? Can I still finish under 115? Yeah, like Time! 10 seconds. Oh, oh baby. Woo! What was the time? Uh, 114.57. I'm watching it back. Oh! Just barely under the wire. Hey, I finished underestimate. Great job, nice. DJ. Hey, nice. I got a 109 in practice. <laughs> or a 112 in practice. I didn't get a plus 8 on a hole. Yeah, the snowman was a, not maybe the ideal one, but we made it work. You know, all right. Well, that was great. That yeah. was great. Uh, I have to stay because I'm doing CJ's prize corner. But, Excellent. Yeah. Indeed. So, all right. take us back to intermission.